Happy Monday. Oh, Lord. So, is this our second week of November? Are we into the second week of November? I think so. I think this is the second week. Oh, this is Mika with Living with Mika. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. This weekend for me, baby, was work. I worked my full hour this week. October, I skipped around in October. I barely worked much in October. <laughs> I was off pretty much every weekend of October. <laughs> but October is a busy month for us. Yeah, I like to celebrate that month. That month I gave birth to two beautiful kids who are adults now and then i was blessed with the other two with my husband and then i was blessed with mj who's the 28th who i still haven't seen yet y'all i'm gonna try to make my way to see my baby i don't know what's going on. his mom lives further out and so i have to prepare for that because it's pretty much it's a day. It's a day visit for me. So I don't want to go all the way out there, stay a couple minutes, and then leave. I didn't went all the way out there. I want to hang out. Yeah. So I made pot roast last night, y'all. All right, you guys. In this pot roast, I did something different this time. I added in mixed vegetables and a can. I think I might have did a couple cans of mixed vegetables and one can of corn. It turned out really good. Everyone liked it. So I think I'm going to start doing that more often. My pot roast was really good this time too. I just got a nice pot roast without a lot of the fat on it. I cut it up myself and I'm telling you guys, I did not have no fat on this pot roast really at all. It was perfect. I enjoyed this meal and so did my family. And I just wanted to share it with you guys as well today the weather is nice y'all it is 59 degrees this morning i am loving this i got my window down honey i ain't running my car i'm enjoying it yes that part <laughs> uh, this weekend i worked my knees were oh gosh my knees were really bad this weekend you guys i I'm so tired of the pain, y'all. I'm so tired of it. I'm tired of the crippledness. I'm tired of just aching and not really feeling normal. Not really feeling like getting up and doing anything. It, it's, it's tiring. So I laid in bed yesterday morning and I watched a movie I have not seen in a very, very long time. Y'all, I did. These had, uh, real quick. The braids had two strings hanging off of them. So I pretty much cut one and kept the other one. Now when that one string starts to get too annoying, I'll cut it and then it'll just be the braid. And I think I'm going to like that. But anyways, moving on. I have not tried the face soap yet, but when I do, I will do it with you all. Yes. I laid in bed yesterday because it was my off day. And I got a chance to rest my legs. My legs were like, oh my God, like the pain. The pain hurts so bad. It's like you just, oh God. You don't even want to walk. And if you do walk, you walking with limps. Like you wobbling pretty much. Pulling. I be pulling my leg at work like I got a wooden leg. It is crazy. I, I don't want to fold my I don't want to fold my leg because if I fold it, it hurts. Oh God. It feels better today because I rested it yesterday. But I laid in bed and I watched Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood, you guys. I haven't seen that movie in so many years. Ice Cube was so cute in that movie. He was so cute. He was had that baby face, the fat cheeks and stuff. Just adorable. <sighs> it, it's crazy because that was in California. But when I was raised in Texas, Austin, Texas, it was pretty much the same. Pretty Back in the 90s in Austin, Texas, 
it was the same vibe like crazy it was the same vibe so even though that was california i still related to a lot of the movie because i grew up like that i grew up like that yeah the girls moving in with their boyfriends and having kids and I mean, they in high school still, and they moving in with their boyfriends, getting pregnant and stuff. And I'm just like, wow, y'all mamas and daddies allowing this stuff? That stuff was that stuff. And then just the gang banging stuff. I mean, kids are starting out like at 14, gang banging and drug slanging. It's, it starts out so early. Like, it's so funny when I talk to my husband about it because he still looks at it like these are little boys yes they are little boys but they're put in grown man positions because they are out there doing grown like activities at like 14 years old it is crazy it is crazy you see it you see the little boy slinging the rocks man it's crazy that stuff is real okay for the people that grew up in the suburbs <laughs> and just watch stuff on tv no that is real life and even when at the end of the movie when he was saying that he woke up he didn't see anything on the news about the about what happened with his brother and stuff and he was like either they just don't care or they just don't know turned on the tv this morning and i'm just like wow that's deep it, which one is it? Do y'all not care or y'all just don't know about all the stuff that go on in these cities? Yeah. Then I watched The Color Purple last night before I went to bed. Oh, and that brought back so many memories. That's a long movie, but it's so much worth it. And then I heard that Oprah's coming out with another one. I don't know if it's in theaters already. I don't care if I know the storyline. Fantasia's in it, okay? I want to see the movie, all right? I want to see that movie, honey. <laughs> I love the color purple. God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something. Maybe God is trying to tell you something right now. a good movie that whole storyline is just crazy i mean it kind of just takes you back to the tyler perry movies and all that stuff all that weird stuff that go on with young kids and stuff some people may look at the movies and think that they're just movies no these movies are based on people's real lives there are youngins sitting at home being touched by their own relatives it's sad that is some sad stuff man I, I, my heart go out for him, man. My heart go out for him. And I just, me personally, I just... Speak up. Speak up. Speak to a teacher. Speak. Go to the office. Speak to the counselor at school. Like, speak up. Don't ever feel like it's your fault. Don't ever feel like it's your fault. Speak up. If you can't tell your mama... Tell an authority figure, man. Call 911. Call, call. Tell somebody. Let them know that you don't want to be in that home no more. You, you're not safe there. It's just so sad. I don't know. What did it take? I'm just going to go ahead and start. I, I really would much rather start the videos out with what I purchased from Timu, okay? 
And I know you guys come to see what I purchased from Timu. So we about to get into it. All right, you guys. Oh, you guys, I, I'm having back trouble today too. I don't know what I did. I pulled my back wrong. Oh, y'all, I got one of the white bags. I did get one of the white bags, child. I think what happened was Timu probably had so many of these bags. And once they used them all up, they decided to go to the white bags, which are cheaper. And then they just used their Timu duct tape to put all over the bag. So that it still has the Timu effect. So I think that's what they did. But it's all good. We ain't mad at them for saving money. I ain't mad at them for saving coin now. Oh, Lord. So that's one package. In this package right here, I'm just going to open with you guys. In this one, this this is a smaller one I'm going to open with you guys. And it's the Think Plus Live iPods. It says LP3 Pro. Here you go. That's the iPods, y'all. They look just like the Apple iPods. And I like the fact that they have the little plastic around the ear. Y'all, I don't have iPods. Um, I never thought I would like iPods because I thought that the, that the inside would mess with my ear. So, let me open this. All right. I know they probably ain't charged, child. It's been a while since I've had them. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the little plastic pieces. And then the charger cord. It's so cute. It looks just like the real thing, y'all. So, it looks like this. It looks just like the real thing. Yeah, it's not charged. Oh, we got a little bit of charge on it, y'all. Look at that light. Yeah, got a little bit of charge on it. So, look just like the real thing. You really cannot tell. How do these go? Do they say left and right? This is crazy. This is the right ear. Oh, it don't feel bad in my ear. I've never put... Oh, it's beeping in my ear, child. Oh, shit. It's beeping in my ear, child. So, yeah, I don't have them paired to my phone yet, and I probably will not do that. But they do feel comfortable. They're not falling out. I always felt fun. I don't like stuff in my ears. And I'm already starting to tell that this is irritating me. I do not like stuff in my ear at all. That's why I use the Apple Beats. I clean my ear, y'all. It ain't dirty. I clean my ears every morning when I wash my face. So, yeah. The ear earpiece is not dirty, y'all. I ain't got no wax seats in there and nothing. I, that's another thing. I think these are gross because some people don't clean their ears and then they be having them dirty waxes on. Ugh. girl the disgustingness so anyways i think these are really good yeah so i don't know if these are still at timu but i'll link them or i'll link something that's similar the reason the only reason i chose these was because of the rubber they do have a lot of these that don't have this rubber base I needed the rubber base. I have really small ears. And like I said, my ears get irritated very easy. I really don't understand how people can wear these buds, earbuds, and not have their ears supported with this rubber. I just, I see them selling them in Apple too, and they don't have that. So I, I just don't, I don't know. I like having the rubber. So that's why I ordered these. They were cheap too. They weren't expensive, you guys, at all. And like I said, if I can find them, I will link them. But I have always wanted a pair. 
just to try out. I, I don't think I would want to buy the Apple ones, but. And I think I'll still use these. I, I, mean, I know I'll use them. Yes, I know I'll use these. Yeah, I don't want it to be too long, so I'm gonna go on in. Um, it seems like the instructions are very, very explanatory, very easy to understand and go by, so yeah. Now I'll go get into this. I don't have a lot of items today, y'all. I really don't. Today I came in with a big, a, a small item and a big item, okay? So right now I have a box, you guys. A nice size box, actually. Oh God, my back. <laughs> nice size box, okay? Nice size box. My back is killing me. I don't know what I did. I pulled my back out of place. I don't know how I did it. It just hurts so dang on bad right now. Styrofoam. Oh God, I just turned up like that. There we go. This is a big box, Timo. This is big. I gotta take it out of the plastic. All right, you guys. So y'all know how bad I love my sunglasses. Oh, my back, Jesus. My back. So this is... sunglass case y'all oh my back jesus i don't know why my back hurting so bad y'all i really don't taking the plastic off the buttons y'all and now i'm opening it for the first time it looks like it fell apart somehow oh no oh, we got it we got it so it comes with a little key, so I must be able to lock this box up. Yep, there go the keyhole right there. And all the little plastic things that came off the little knot, the thing. This looks pretty high end, y'all. That is glass on the top. So you open her up. And it looks like I can put six sunglasses at the top. Six, six pair. And then I got the jumbo one. So I want it to have extra room. So I got the drawer too. It looks like I can fit six more in the drawer. So all together I can fit 12 pair of sunglasses in this cubicle. So right now I have the sunglasses I that I just tried on with you guys. Was that Friday? So I do have those with me. So right now I'm going to be opening those up and putting those in my case and seeing how they look. Okay. So I hope y'all doing well. I'm trying my best to narrow these videos down in my car. So the clothes, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll show them with you guys like I would usually do on my couch and then in the screen, I'll be trying them on. I think that's how I'm going to do that. It feels like something's in my eye right now. Alright. And then y'all know I have plenty more shades at home. Because I've done sunglass hauls in the past. So I do have more shades at home to add to my little sunglass case. 
I'm not a fan of these sunglasses, y'all. These right here, I'm not really a fan of them. They feel really flat and cheap like. I don't know. I'm not a fan. So there we are. Let me show you guys again what my little case is looking like. Yeah, it's dirty. I, you can't really see the illusion, you guys, because my case is a little dirty. Ooh. So there you go, you guys. That's what it's looking like. You know, open it up. There you go. I think it's super cute. I don't even know why my back is hurting so stinking bad today. It really does feel like I pulled a muscle in my back, but it just started hurting. I went to Hy-Vee to take a look at the Starbucks cups this morning. Cause the Starbucks cup, the holiday Starbucks cups came out Thursday and I didn't get in there to see them. So I ran in there this morning to see them and I wasn't impressed. The green studded one, that one looks kind of cute, but I wasn't like, whoa, like, oh my God, I gotta get it. I wasn't like that, girl. So they said they do have another launch coming. So we'll see what that other launch is doing, but this one, wasn't doing much girl they do got some holiday cups though they they got a holiday cup it got some velvet on the inside of it i didn't take no pictures or anything y'all sorry but it has some velvet on the inside and it kind of looks like a christmas decoration of some sort so yeah you guys this is this is my timu haul for today So I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my God, my body hurts so bad. All right, you guys, so that is the end of my Timu purchases. The live pods, I'm not sure if they have these anymore either, but like I said, if I can find them, I will put the links in the description. If I can find something like it, I will put that in the description as well. And yeah, I'm sure Amazon has this stuff too. So maybe I'll go over to Amazon to see what they got and put it in the description. I, I am in the process of editing Thursday and Friday of last week. I have Thursdays edited. I just have to add a, the description stuff and stuff. So I'll have that uploaded here this when I get home this afternoon. Then I'll work on Fridays and today. So I'm trying. I'll come back with my little guy so he can say hello and goodbye to you all. Once again, I appreciate you all for the kind messages in my comment section. I really appreciate it. More than you guys know. Say hi to the friends, Mouse. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> Wave. Malachi had a great day at school, you guys. Yeah, he had a great day, huh? And I'll be keeping him home tomorrow. They got like something going on, so I'll be keeping him home. Oh, all right. He's saying bye. All right, Malachi, we about to end it. So I went to the post office this morning, you guys, and I checked my P.O. box. And... I am so glad I'm an honest person. So the P.O. box had someone else's mail in my P.O. box. Didn't even have my name on it. It had my P.O. box number, but it didn't have my name on it. And so I took it. It was like a little envelope. And I took it back in there because I was about to take it. I was about to open it. But then I was like, this don't have my name on it. I don't feel comfortable. So I took it back in there and gave it to the lady. And I was just like, you know, this was in my P.O. box. And it don't have my name on it. And she was like, that's a payment. She was like, and it belongs to somebody else. I was like, I know. I was like, that's why I was bringing it back in. She was like, thank you so much. This was our mistake. Y'all, be careful. If you guys get somebody else's mail, be honest, okay? Turn it back in to them. Don't keep it. I mean, 
<laughs> that's that's the moral to my story. That was a payment of some sort that they made, and they paid me. I, I almost threw it away. Like I mean, because I th when I go to my PO box, I be having junk mail in there. So usually I just take the junk mail out and toss it. But I seen this little envelope, and I was like, uh, oh, this ain't junk mail, but this is. So I tossed the junk mail, and then I was like, uh, oh, this ain't mine. So yeah. Anyway, please like, please comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye, guys. Say bye, Mouse. Bye.